The New Zealand kiwi fruit sector was dealt a bad hand in 2010 when a bacteria arrived which then proceeded to wipe out much of its most profitable crop. But if the industry has an ace up its sleeve, it's that it had hundreds of other cultivars in various stages of a breeding programme. We somehow been lucky on PSA um, striking in an area where the second largest germoplasm diversity exist in New Zealand. Mr Gear spends his days trying to find new cultivars which will stand up to the bacteria. Yep, yep, yep. One of the cultivars in that breeding program was Gold 3, or G3, which has so far shown much greater resistance to PSA than its cousin, Hort 16A. Everyone in the kiwi fruit industry is hoping it continues to stand up to the bacteria. Gold 3, which was one of the ones that was close close to being commercialised, or actually had started going through that commercialisation process, looks to be one of the um, cultivars that is most, of, of the ones we've got at the moment, that is most tolerant to, to PSA. While G3 has been rolled out under licence by Zespri to growers, it was never specifically bred to be resistant to PSA, and many believe it will just buy growers some time. It's a good cultivar, It's commercially it's a very good cultivar, uh, the market really like it. Um, and you know we know we've got better cultivars coming. And questions have been raised about G3's palatability in foreign markets. G3 does have a different flavour profile to Hort 16A yep. and in particular it has a higher acid balance. What that means is that unless uh, G3 is grown to have strong sugars yep. uh, with a real focus on getting that dry matter up it can be bitter. But the swap over to a new variety isn't all straightforward. At around $60,000 a hectare to convert it's money many growers simply don't have. Complicating conversion further, some growers whose Hort 16A vines weren't as badly affected initially have kept them in the ground. And having gold kiwi fruit to offer when no one else does equals serious profits. But with Hort 16A being so vulnerable to PSA, it means there's a heavy bacterial load in the air, making it hard for the new cultivars and the industry to get a fresh start. But Zespri is adamant the choice is up to growers. Look, I, I, I can't begin to, to put myself in their position. Mm, mm. Um, and we can't guarantee that uh, Haywood, which is less uh, susceptible to PSA, isn't also harbouring some bacteria. Uh, the, the bacteria is a little ubiquitous around the place. So um, these guys have got to make those decisions. Hopefully they're making the right ones. Uh, you know, but it's, I'm not going to go on camera and tell you that I, I think they should all cut out um, and that we should force them to do so. Um, they have to make those choices. When you themselves. can understand their position. Yeah, I can understand yeah, their position. Yeah. But it's a choice which is destroying many friendships. There is that neighbour to neighbour issue though where one grower's commercial decision is creating risk for another grower. You can imagine that's putting the community under enormous pressure and that's something that early neighbours are, are really needing to work through uh, themselves. The industry will have a much better idea of whether Gold 3 will be a saviour, temporary or otherwise, when spring arrives this year. But there is an underlying feeling of optimism among many in the sector and the community. I think that by the time the summer comes around we'll be over it and know where we're all going. If my home was in Tupuki and if I was weighing up should I get out of this industry and go dairying or should I replant, I, I would definitely say replanting is, is an intelligent decision. Uh, whereas say six months ago you might have said, mm -hmm, I might just hold on and wait to see. Over time uh, the industry has mapped out a recovery pathway, so I think people understand in the, in the, in the community that there is actually a plan to get past this and into the future. I would like the growers to be optimistic. We are going to get there with the resistant vines and we hope to be there as soon as possible.